Hi everyone, it's Sean on Dyslexic Geek here. A couple of days ago, LEGO announced another Marvel set that's going to be coming out, and it is going to be uh, Captain America's Shield. Uh, the set which will be launching on August the 1st and will be costing an eye watering uh, $200, £180, pounds, or €210. Euros. And for this, you get 3,128 pieces. Um, now, as I said, that's a few days ago. I've had a bit of time to sort of take in this set, if you like, and really sort of gather my thoughts on it. I'm not really sure. I'm not feeling this set at all. Sometimes when a new set, well, quite often when a new set is announced, you get that initial wave of excitement and anticipation. But for this one, no, nah, this one doesn't do much for me. Um, I like the look of it. I don't. I quite like the look of it. Um, but it's the price, um, $200, £180, pounds. it seems a lot of money for what it is. Um, okay, you, in Lego's defence you do get a lot of pieces, the piece count is you know, reasonably high, well it's very high, so you get a lot of pieces with this. Um, but as a build experience, I think this could be one incredibly tedious uh, build. I mean, a lot of it is going to be very sane, I mean, if you're going to be doing a lot of... Um, a lot of the same building techniques over and over again. There's not really much variation in this. And yeah, it's, um, I don't think it's that great. I really think it's quite disappointing. Um, it comes with a nice stand, um, I've given that, and it's nice, big, dis displayable, if you like. Um, yeah, it comes with a Captain America uh, minifigure, so that's cool. Um, but there's one, and it's quite, I mean, decent, decent size, 48 centimetres, and well, so it's about the same, you know, so it's a nice, accurate size, and you know, accurate size, Captain America's shield. Um, but the, for me, there's one slight um, des design flaw, if I'm, if I'm honest, and uh, doesn't show it on here. Uh, but you have a look at the, the, the sort of um, the, the 3D, when really, you get a look at it all around it, uh, it doesn't even take, there's no handle. There's, there's no way to hold it, which is really bizarre. Now I get it. It might be. It could. Be, yeah. In terms of designing that, that might be a tricky thing for Lego to design with. I mean, they don't do material on, on any set, so there's no real strap that you can attach to it. But the fact you can't even wield it is, is a very strange one. It's quite. That's quite disappointing. Not that I want to go about wielding it, but you know what I mean. It's a very strange omission. Um, I mean, it's very chunky by the looks of it. Look at you know from on a side on a side angle, you can see it's a pretty heavy. I would have thought. I mean, three thousand over three thousand pieces. It's probably going to be a heavy thing to to hold. And maybe I mean, designing a, a set to, to be able to sort of hold it is probably not really that possible to do. Maybe perhaps that might be why. I mean, it looks all right. On the, it's okay on the stand, I suppose. But I just think it's a bit of a shame that you might not, not be able to wield it. And then you talk about the price. I mean, wow, it's incredibly expensive. Now, obviously, the only direct comparison you can make it to is um, Thor's hammer, a uh, Mjolnir. Uh, now that set has a, a lot lower piece count, 979 pieces, uh, and it, but it, the price point on that set was absolutely brilliant, 105 pounds, 100 dollars. Yeah, and it looks good. It looks really good. It doesn't like Thor's hammer. It doesn't look like Lego, if you know what I mean. You can wield it. It looks. I think it looks really classy in fact. But this one looks. And that sounds strange, but it looks too Lego-y, you know what I mean? I don't know, that's a very strange thing to say for a Lego set, but sort of thing, sometimes Lego sets, they look good when they, especially more as, a, as an adult collector, they look, when, when Lego hide the sort of Lego aspects really well, it looks, looks pretty clever, but this one is just, with all the studs exposed, there's no way I'd do, I don't know, I suppose you could have used, maybe use plates, maybe, I don't know, but I'm just not really sure who this set's really aimed at, you know what I mean? It's, it's not a set really, well, I'm sure, it probably, I mean, as an adult, adult collector, it's not really one for me. It doesn't, it's not something I particularly want I to stay on my shelf, if you know what I mean. For children or younger collectors, well, it's, you can't do anything with it. There's no play, there's no real play features of it. And it's a very, it's a, again, it's a very, very expensive set. Now, I say, I appreciate Lego making the piece count as high as it is. That's, you know, that's one thing, but... I would much prefer Lego to go down the lines of, of Thor's hammer, not so many pieces, maybe a bit smaller, and uh, it'd be a more um, enticing proposition. I don't know. It's a very, it's a bizarre set, if you're from honest. It's certainly, it's just, I, mean, I don't know. For me personally, it sort of goes along with, goes in line with a lot of the Marvel sets. I find them a lot of them hit and miss. I don't think a lot of them, 
personally, my personal opinion, I don't think a lot of them are all that good. If you know, I think some of them are quite are really quite disappointing. I don't know. I don't know what it is with Marvel, but for me personally, I find so many of the sets ultimately disappointing. And it's there's some good ones. Don't get me wrong, but I'll say there's far more disappointing sets with Marvel, especially what they could do with it, with Marvel, the Marvel license. You know what I mean? But you don't know how much that's come that that, yeah, that comes down. You know, from Disney maybe you just don't know. Or you know, a Marvel maybe they dictate to Lego what what they the sort of sets they want make what 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 may rather than what Lego have a lot of choice over. You know, so I don't know. So that's it. So that was, it's coming August first. So please let me know uh, in the comments what you think of this set. Is it, does it excite you? You're interested in it? Um, can I please ask you to leave a like on this video? And if you've enjoyed today's content, I'd be very grateful if you consider subscribing today. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.